Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial about effectively and efficiently smoothing skin in Photoshop CS5. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to duplicate our background layer with Control J and we can also right click duplicate layer and we'll zoom in to see what we will be correcting today just some slight skin imperfection nothing of any significance no real blemishes to speak of um, we'll be using the surface blur filter today to smooth the skin and for that we will select our layer well let's rename that to smooth we'll select our layer we'll go to filter blur surface blur and the opinion on this varies um, as to how much blurring to use. I like to use a bit more than most. Um, we've got two attributes here, our radius attribute and our threshold attribute. The radius attribute will handle the actual amount of blurring taking place. For this particular project, I'll use something close to 28 or 30. And threshold will determine the area blurred in the threshold of the edges so I don't want it quite to the extreme of a Gaussian blur but we will we will blur the edges just a little bit so as to ensure that all of these details that we want smooth will be so for this particular project 28 on radius 32 on threshold we'll click OK and to paint on our smooth layer we're going to create an inverted layer mask and we'll do that by holding the alt key and clicking the add layer mask button now you see that hid the entire smooth layer so how we'll bring that back we'll select our layer mask and we'll select our brush tool I like to change the opacity to 50 percent so that we get a uh, uh, an accurate smoothing without giving the uh, the face mask effect and now we'll switch our foreground color to white so that we can use the brush to reveal the mask and I'll just paint the areas that I would like to see smoothed I'm going to try and get around the areas that I don't want smoothed but here in this area you see she has rhinestones on her face and we'll just have to go over that whole area which I'll show you how to undo that in just a second. A little bit under the eyes. I want to leave some of that under the eye detail for realism. Just above the lip a little bit more. And the chin. See if you notice we want to leave this edge here. We don't want to blur that out really at all. Because that looks very unrealistic. Okay. And especially up above the eyes, we want to leave that for any makeup effects that will be used later on in this particular photo retouch. So now that we've done that, we'll take and correct the areas that do not need smoothing. And we'll do that by switching our foreground layer to black, changing the opacity to 100, and then either manually adjusting our brush size with the slider to fit each area that we want to undo the effect or we can also use the bracket keys on the keyboard as hotkeys to change the size of the brush on the fly so I'll just remove the smoothing effect from these rhinestones on her face that looks about right so now that we've got smooth skin I'll zoom out to give you a better view before and after little closer before and after now we don't want to leave that too blurred we want to add a little bit of realism back and we'll do that by duplicating the background layer with control J or as I stated before right click duplicate layer we'll rename this to skin texture oh, I spelled that right that's wonderful all right, we'll ensure that our skin texture layer is selected. And now we will duplicate the layer mask used on the smooth layer by holding Alt, clicking the layer mask, and dragging it to the skin texture layer. 
Now we will click our skin texture layer itself and ensure that that is clicked and not the layer mask. And then we will desaturate it by going to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate, or as you can see there's a hotkey Shift Control U. And we'll desaturate that layer. Now we're doing that to avoid any color noise that would come from using it at the original color level. So we'll go to uh, to add the skin texture. We're going to go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. I'm going to add just enough noise to cover up the original texture, but not so much as to completely obliterate it entirely. So we want to still be able to see some contour in the skin. That looks about right. I'm going to ensure the, the distribution is uniform and that will keep the noise true to the original texture of the skin and we want to ensure that our monochromatic box is checked so that we don't incur any additional color noise. We'll click OK and then we will change the blend mode of this particular layer to soft light. And that will give us back a little bit of detail but if you'll notice it's extremely grainy. So we'll change that by going to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur and we will set it just high enough to blur out a few of those a little bit of that unwanted graininess. We'll say OK. Now I wouldn't say at this point this looks entirely realistic. Just so that we've got some blotchiness here on the cheek. And we're going to want to remove some of that, but we don't want to do it by lowering the opacity because in some areas the effect does look optimal. So how we'll do that is we'll select our layer mask for the skin texture layer. We'll then select our brush tool. For this particular technique I like to lower the opacity about 15 percent so that we ensure that we remove just what we want to. Once again ensure our foreground color is set to black. We'll change the brush size a little bit a little bit larger. We'll start painting to take away a little bit of that unwanted skin contouring and blotchiness leaving the areas that we feel that the effect was optimal. Um, it looks like it washed out a little bit of this left cheek so we will go over that and bring back some of the contour here, some of the detail. So let's zoom out and get a look here at our before and our after. If you'll notice using this technique give us a little bit of washout in color. And how we will correct that is by going to the adjustments panel clicking our curves tool to create a curves layer. And we'll bring the curve point just down just a little bit. A little overkill is alright. We'll go back to our layers panel. We'll select the opacity and we can play with that a little bit just to change that up a little bit. Conveniently on the uh, on the adjustment layer there is an uh, already established layer mask that we can use to tone down the effect in any areas that it's unwanted. Now let's get close so we can see it detailed before and after. So before the skin smoothing effect and after. And that's how you effectively and efficiently smooth skin in Photoshop using the surface blur and the add noise filter.